So the final list has come out of the players that are going to go to Cairo for December 1st to 3rd. So this is Friday to Sunday this week. And, well, uh, I'm just seeing a um, couple of surprises in there. I'm not sure uh, what to expect right now, but the women's team looks quite solid. You can see Natalie is there, Masi Wanyama is there, Madino Court, Hilda Indasi. So, good. It, it, it's actually quite solid. For the men's, I feel it's quite solid too, but I'm not sure why Victor Cheng is there. I, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's up with that because should have added another like you know versatile forward should have added like um you know somebody else there but anyway this is the guy that will go there and yeah i mean uh, i feel um i feel you know uh quite surprised because i i looked at this whole thing and um the way even the team selection was kind kind of delayed i saw there was a photo that was up by official team kenya showed like um there was there was uh larry shavanga was there and there was um oh, we, we also had eugene eugene was there so i actually thought that he one of those two guys were, were going to be there but it was a shocker to see uh victor chiang there so i was hoping to see a, li a little bit of you know uh you know some uh, some of other guys some new guys in there but you know, Alberto Dero, it's been a while since I've seen this guy suit up for the Morans. Last time he he played was with the um, the Kenya Morans in the Afro Basket 2021. That's the last. Uh, oh, yeah. He also played in the FIBA World Cup. Yeah. That's the only time that he played pretty well. The other go arounds that he had with the Kenya Morans and FIBA World Cup wasn't the, great, wasn't the greatest. At least Ariel, Alier Ortega. He got his shot, and I'm very happy to see this guy, you know, uh, be in that 3x3 squad. This is actually quite good. They've got Fahim. I know he got snubbed in the Kenya Morans uh, road to the Afrocan, but at least this one he can play because he racked up also like some 3x3 experience uh, together with Hilda in the Birmingham games and in the Commonwealth games in Birmingham. So that's actually quite good. Medina, she has been in majority of the 3x3. All the 3x3s I've covered on this channel, she has been there. Uh, she has played in the Hammamet Games, living in Tunisia. She has played in the Nations League in Algeria. And we also covered her. She was in the Poland Games, the 3x3 in Poland. So she has played. She's actually been quite active. The last time we saw uh Masiwanyama and Natalie Sura for Team Kenya was in the Zone 5 Afro Basket qualifiers way back in February so yeah and uh, and also like they've also added like um they've said I've seen some you know uh post there and some commentary they have looks like they have been in residential camp but they have been so quiet about it they've been in camp training camp so I don't know why they are you know they are quite quiet about it they should have like at least come out with it and and you know try to give us an update but hey i mean uh, a lot of things happen behind the scenes but the men's pool i remember i made a video talking about this uh, kenya is gonna play against benin madagascar morocco, morocco and mali so the men's teams in 3x3 this year have not been the greatest hopefully they can try to end this on a high note at least we can be able to win a couple of games because when i looked at the algeria 3x3 it wasn't the, it wasn't the most promising because even the hammermet games in tunisia they're not the most promising because there was so much um there was so much mishaps especially when it came to the games i don't want to use the word mishaps but you get the point there was a problem in you know skill wise in being able to you know score the basketball so it was quite difficult that's the, that's the thing that i saw especially when i was looking at those games closely and even in the poland games we we're not able to win a game convincingly even despite like you know uh putting in like uh you know you've got elisha in there i've got brands you had koja there so yeah, yeah i mean th those guys that that group of guys weren't you know being were not able to cut it and the reason as to why i was surprised that victor is there I was expecting somebody like Elisha to be there. I feel like he was very dynamic, even despite you know the losses that we had. This guy is still balled out, and he was actually a quite a crucial piece for us. 
and he, him being dropped out of the team kind kind somewhat you know um changes like the way I'm looking at this team because even despite the losses he, he was contributing well. I don't know what Victor is going to contribute because I've looked at his 5x5 I don't think that he's built for 3x3 but anyway I know the powers that be uh, believe in his talent and skill set, so they're just gonna go with him as an option. For him, he has been great. He has been bowling out with the Nairobi City Thunder, also Ariel Ortega. So they have been great. So the thing is trying to finish out the year, just to finish out the year on a on a high note. Let's see what we can be able to muster up this go around because Benin, I'm not going to hold back. Madagascar, I'm not going to hold back. Morocco, Mali, I'm not going to hold back at all. And we have also seen the other teams. I'm so happy you're not pulled uh, together. The Egypt, I mean, Algeria, I mean, these Egypt and Nigeria, Algeria, not even Nigeria. We have not played Nigeria yet. In the, in, in the, we have not played them. But Egypt and Algeria caused us the most problems, especially in the Nations League. So that's the thing that um was 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 actually something that <laughs> it was so uncomfortable to watch those games so yeah hopefully the men can be able to do that some something yeah but for the women you can see benin madagascar morocco nigeria those are the teams that the women is gonna face i feel like um having having natalie there maybe she can be able to like play well because on 5x5 and also from the recently concluded um africa women's cup uh, qualifiers she she was quite solid okay she don't she didn't like you know uh, turn up scoring wise but at least she can be able to like uh, give us that uh, fa facilitation because I've seen like she doesn't take a lot of shots that much but facilitation that's key and feeding Medina the ball inside she has been a very consistent option inside despite uh, her full work has not been the greatest but she has been a good option there then Masiwanyama her addition there I feel like she she has been bowling out um, outside, outside our borders. So hopefully we can be able to like get a different, we can get a different like um, result. But the women have not been disappointing us. I don't know why they had to re over. They had to do a rehaul of the whole uh, roster because we had Mary Lisa, we got Marianne, we had Ashley. So I'm not sure like uh, what the women, what what angle the women had. But anyway, hopefully. We can be able to pull it off because, man, it, it, we need everything that we have. Uh, any every asset that we have right now, as you can see with the, on the screen, we've got uh, both the men and women. Every skill that we can tap into, we make sure that you know uh, we just leave it out on the floor just to finish off the year well. So I'm just wishing them all the best. I'll be covering the games. I'll also bring my you know live commentary on the games and also keep you updated on Instagram. If you're watching this on Instagram, please follow NBA Kenya. I'm releasing a lot and also follow me on uh, all my socials yeah and also subscribe to the channel on youtube you're gonna see this on youtube make sure you know help the boy out and um yeah man i'm out peace